Hi there. Um, this time I'm going to be uh, playing the last section of John Doherty tunes, and this is basically, um, I guess, uh, some things they call barn dances. At least one of them really is a barn dance. Uh, mazurka, a jig, and a few other things. Just a couple of slow errors. So, um, the first one. I, I really think is a barn dance, even though it's notated in 6-8 time here on the, in the sheet music. It should be 4-4. Four, four. Anyway, whatever. Francie Welsh's Barn Dance. So again, the way they have it notated is the way uh, it's played, and it's two times through the first part, and then one time through the second part. Um, and uh, the second half of the second part actually resembles the first part. So anyway, so here we go. Francie Welsh's Barn Dance. <laughs> times through that little tune is good enough. All right, so now the, the next tune, it begins with, um, it's like a one part waltz, I guess. I, um, and then uh, Kitty in the Lane, which is called a, a barn dance here, but I, I think it maybe it's a hornpipe, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna play, because the waltz is so slow, I'm not going to play it slow first, but I will play the barn dance part of this medley. So here.
So, um, in addition to hearing John Doherty uh, play this, um, I heard it on a, a beginnish um, album played by uh, Paul O'Shaughnessy, great fiddler. So. Uh, a mazurka. So this is usually just called John Doherty's mazurka, and it's not unusual for a mazurka. And mazurkas are in 3-4 time, and, um, um, you know, there's the famous uh, Chopin mazurkas that I played as a piano student. These are not really like them. <laughs> These are more just basic dance tunes. They're not even though they're in 3-4 time, they're not waltzes either. They're a little faster, I suppose, and um, there tends to be an emphasis on the second of uh, each uh, of the three notes. Um, or Anyway, I'm not going to get into it, into all the details, but uh, here's this one, anyway. Definitely one of the rarer of the mazurkas.
little uh, unintentional notes there. It's another good name for those, unintentional notes. All right, um, and the next one is, uh, I think this is sometimes called the Fox Hunt, um, just the jig by itself. I'm not gonna play the whole Hunt of the Hound and the Hare, because it's just, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna play the whole thing. You have to listen to it. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Um, but uh, here's the jig that comes before. Mixing up two different versions here because um, John's brother Mickey, who I think I'm going to cover next, um, is uh, he also has a version. And I think I combined the two versions. So. a couple of slow airs so yeah I don't play very many slow airs but these are a couple of that I like sort of sort of no so
it's uh, called Lord Mayo. Um, and the last one is, uh, like, I think Lord Mayo might be a Carolyn tune, the one that's uh, composed by the, uh, the blind harpist O'Carolyn. Um, but uh, Patty's Rambles Through the Park, um, the only source I've ever heard for this is John Doherty himself. And, um, but it seems to have been often report, recorded. It's a, it's a very nice uh, slow air. And, uh, and John told a story that went with this and I won't try to tell the whole story, but it involves uh, something called uh, a park, which isn't a park park, but it's, it's an area that has some old standing stones. And um, the Paddy of the tune title was wandering around listening to some ghostly haunting music, um, which would drift from one cairn to the next, and, um, or one standing stone to the next, and he, would, he followed it through the park. And this is the tune that he heard. So... That's it for these John Doherty tunes. There's actually quite a few others that uh, I have on recordings, and uh, maybe I'll get them out sometime. All right, so long.